boys and girls, welcome back to our very own reading corner. So today we're going to be reading a book called The Pirate Kids, The Very Quiet Parrot. Chapter 1, A New Matey. Percy sleepily opened his eyes. His big sister, Pipper, is standing over him. She is wearing her favorite pirate patch, the one with the purple skull. Wake up, brother, she says. Mom and Dad have a surprise for us. Percy jumps out of his bunk bed. He hurries to pull on his tall pirate boots. The floor beneath him tilts and he almost falls over. Whoa! Careful, silly, Piper says. We're on rough seas today. Percy glances out his round bedroom window. He can see the back of the family pirate ship. The sea is gray and foamy. He grins. He likes it when the ship is rocky. Percy follows his sister up the rope ladder. Together they race into the galley. Arg! Good morning, kitties! Their dad shouts. Arg! Piper and Percy call back. Percy notices something big and round on the table. It's covered in a silky green cloth. Is that a surprise? He asks. It is! Would you like to see it? Their mom asks. Yes, please! Piper and Percy jump up and down. Their mom slowly lifts the green cloth. Piper and Percy gasp. There on the table sits a golden cage. Inside, a pair with rainbow-colored feathers is perched on a small swing. Chapter 2, Finding a Name. Shiver me timbers, Piper squeals. Our very own parrot, Percy claps. Their dad smiles, then carefully clicks open the cage. He sticks his hand inside and the pair tops on. Parrots are incredibly smart. You can even teach her to talk, their dad tells them. Hello, birdie bird. Piper leans into the parrot. The bird tilts her head to the side. She needs a better name than that, Percy says. Well, I'm the oldest. I should name her, Piper pouts. I'm seven and you're eight. You're not that much older, Percy says. Why don't we name her together, Piper suggests. Suddenly, the parrot hops off her post and flies into the counter. She lands on the toaster just as some toast pops up. She lets out a squawk of surprise. Squawk! That's it, Percy says. We'll name her Poppy. Poppy the parrot! That's perfect, Piper laughs. Chapter 3 Waiting and waiting. Piper and Percy are sitting in the ship's crow's nest. It is Percy's favorite place to play. They are trying to teach Poppy to talk. Say, hello, Piper. Piper calls to Poppy, but Poppy doesn't make a sound. She just stares at them with her big eyes. Say, Poppy wants a pancake? Percy says, holding up a small bite of his breakfast. But Poppy still doesn't say a word. Mom says she only eats seeds and insects, Piper says. I know, but we've been trying to get her to talk all morning. Nothing is working, Percy grumbles. Maybe she's shy, Piper wonders. Maybe she doesn't like us, Percy mutters. No, Piper says. We just need to be patient. Percy frowns. It's almost time for his piano lessons with Miss Melody. He's worried he will miss Poppy's first words. A strong wind rustles Poppy's feathers and she lets out a small squawk, squawk. The children freeze, waiting to see if she will say more. Suddenly they hear their mom call from below. Percy, Miss Melody has come aboard. Chapter 4, A Sing-Song Surprise. Miss Melody swoops into the music room. She's wearing her usual puffy pink dress. Hello, children. My, my, who is your new friend? She asks. This is Poppy the Parrot, Piper says. She holds out her arm for Miss Melody to see. Well, aren't you something? Miss Melody sings the words to Poppy, and the bird flaps her wings. I think she likes you, Percy says. I like her too. All right then, shall we begin your lesson? Miss Melody stands next to the piano. Can Poppy and I stay and listen? Piper asks. Of course, that sounds fun, Miss Melody says. Percy grins. He tries to slide onto the peanut bench, but it rolls slightly away from him. My, my, the seas are rough today, 
Miss Melody pushes the piano bench back into place. All right, shall we begin? Percy peers at the sheet of music, then begins to play. Piper sings along. Yo ho ho, come dance with me, matey. Yo ho ho, come twirl with me, friend. Just then, Percy feels something sharp on his shoulders. Poppy has just landed on him. Surprised, he continues to pound at the keys. Suddenly, there's a funny new voice singing. Yo ho ho, come dance with me, Mitty. Yo ho ho, come twirl with me, friend. Poppy is singing the song. It appears you have a musical bird, Miss Smelly laughs. Poppy squawks out the end of the song. Yo ho ho, come dance with me, Mitty. Oh, a pirate's fun will never ends. The children and Miss Melody clap for Poppy. <claps> Poppy warbles and jumps into the piano keys. She hops about playing her own loudly silly song. My my, Poppy, you are lovely, but I think you may need some lessons too. Miss Melody says. The children laugh. Looks like I have a new piano partner. Percy says. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this video was about a parrot who didn't talk, but finally, when it came to music lessons, the bird liked music and it finally started talking and saying the music words. Okay, guys. So I have two questions for you guys. So my first question is, what is the parrot's name? Do you guys remember? And my second question is, do you guys remember what made the parrot finally talk? What was the thing that made the parrot finally talk? Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, if you guys do want more of these videos, then smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in another video.